Hello and welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your 3D models to Corona Proxy format, which can help you reduce the file size and improve the performance of your scene. Corona Proxy is a feature of Corona Renderer that allows you to save your high poly object as external files and load them only at render times. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, you can see in this particular scene, we have over 10 million pulleys. Okay, so if we want to like copy things, around, th things like this three, and this three alone is over 1 million pulley, and this is over 1.6, you can see it over here where I'm showing it. Okay, you can see the numbers of pulley that this three is having. Then the car is over 500,000 pulleys. Imagine you are doing a bigger scene where you have to copy these things around, you need to make your scene lighter so it can work easily and seamlessly in 3ds max okay so we're going to be using corona proxy on this on this and on this tutorial to do just that so i will select this okay and this is the button you have to click open corona proxy exporter when you click it the next thing you can do is you can select where you want you know 3ds max to export i mean corona exporter to export it for you all right so you can leave it at default in your 3ds max folder that is in your document okay and this the next thing you're going to change is point cloud always leave it at point cloud this is how it is going to display after you have exported it you know as a proxy so now all you need to do is click on the export object and it will go to work for you okay all right, so you see the way it is now. You can see that the file is now in point cloud mode. All right, so when you select it, you are seeing the police are now zero. I'm selecting the cars now. You can see the police have been reduced to zero. This is so much lighter. And I'm going to show you, this is um, an interactive render I did before doing the exporting. Now we're going to do that interactive render again to see whether this exporting to proxy actually affected the quality of the you know the car you know when we render so i'm just going to do another interactive render let's see what happens as you can see it's not affected by it whatsoever you can see the car is still looking so nice and you can duplicate it and make copies of it all right just to be sure that we've gotten the hang of it let's do for this tree too this tree is over 1 million 1.6 pulleys all right so let's just go ahead and do the same thing okay we have already gone through this let's export the selected object it's as easy as that select it click on that icon and then export it all right from 1.6 you can see we are seeing zero pulleys now it is now linking to that file. It has exported this file to your folder and then it's linking to it. Now you notice when I do interactive render, it loads fast. Okay. There is no difference whatsoever to this tree. It's already rendering again. Let's do region render so you can see. There's no difference whatsoever to this scene, to the to the renders of this tree, but it has reduced this tree to zero police. All right. So I will stop this. Now, let's say you want to return this thing to its original form, okay? What it used to be. You see this thing over here? It is unified Corona Lister. So when you open it, you're going to see a lot of things. But the one we're after, you see camera displacement lights. The one we're after is the proxy, all right? So you can see, you can select all of them like so. And then you can change the way they are showing to solid bound. Okay, you can see it's now like a box. Okay, you can change it to wire. You can see. You can change it to point cloud, which is the one it was in before. You can change it to full mesh. And then you can see when you change it back to full mesh, the police will be back. When you look here, you are going to see the police. All right, so if you, at some point, if you get tired of looking at it, you can't really make sense of it. You can come back here and change the way you are seeing it. Okay. But always leave it at point cloud. Point cloud will at least give you. You can see the point cloud gives you an idea of where the trunk of the tree. Let me close this thing. Where the trunk of the tree is and where the car is actually. Okay, so that's how you make your scene way lighter. You can see we went from 1.6, over 1.6 million police. We went down to zero. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. If you are new to the channel, 
consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.